Hello YouTube. Here we have a shortwave radio that has FM on it. I got it for one dollar at Goodwill. Made in China, of course. It does FM, medium wave, and shortwave. It's an 11 band receiver. You can see the specs there on the back. And this thing that has all the specs is also a flap, so that's a stand, basically. That stands up nicely like that. On the sides we have an on-off switch tuning. And on the other side we have ear, for one earphone apparently. And then there's volume. The volume says off, but that doesn't actually turn it off, which I thought was kind of peculiar. There's also a 3 volt DC in jack right there, just in case you wanted to hook it up to the wall. But this thing came with batteries in it, so I'm not going to bother with the DC jack. This thing actually, the reason I got this is uh, because it act, it sounds really good. Because it it's really, it's I wouldn't say it's super wide band, but it's pretty wide band that it sounds good through that little speaker. Also, it came with uh, batteries, some random Kodak batteries that were still good. They hadn't leaked acid, and the radio worked. So I tested it right there in Goodwill. And uh, it got really, really good sound for uh, on AM, even though... A speaker this small is not going to have very much bass response or good sound, but the clarity is excellent. Yeah, this radio has a very sensitive tuner, which I like a lot. And uh, when you have it in the right spot, it gets amazingly good reception. Like, this is more sensitive than... This is almost as sensitive as some of the tube-based AM radios I've used. So, let's, sw let's switch to medium wave or AM. against the vicious left on Thursday, Friday, and Monday. And then I'll be back to some five days to take. Fully schemed. To your door for free. That Broadway leads to heaven. Almost everyone's going to go there in just a few minutes. I never get oh, AM reception here. In ever. Ever. On anything. And this is the only thing I've had in a long time that's been able to pick it up. Everybody, practically everybody, is going to go to some level of heaven. But the Mormon hopes for more than heaven. He hopes for the highest level of the Mormon heavens. They have it three-tiered, celestial for bad people of the world. They'll still go to heaven and be safe. Then the terrestrial, where the good people of the world... Just shows how uh, unpopular AM is now with the, with the just garbage they put on there these days on the stations. Hindus, uh, it doesn't matter what your religion is. Just <laughs> shortwave band one. There's nothing on band one, apparently. Band two.
down three. Not much on shortwave around here, apparently. Spanish stations. Band of four seem to have a good amount of stuff on it. How about five? the most stereotypical thing I've ever heard in my life just now. Don't tread on me. He's saying I'm in the Tea Party. Well, the Tea Party was started by Ron Paul. And uh, Mitt Romney, Rick Perry, or Herman Cain are all New World Order stooges who support carbon taxes in the past, Al Gore, all this garbage, Hillary Care. I can't handle it anymore. I get people every time I talk about Newt Gingrich supporting world government sending me emails saying send them proof. Just search it. He wrote the forewords to Toffler, Toffler book calling for it 20 years ago. But the globalists put it in the house. The garbage they put on the radio today, I can't, I can't even tell you. It's been caught. I don't want to get off the side issues. You know, he's done TV he's all over carbon taxes. This guy is all over band fun. And I gotta explain that? Hey, once again, that's Pastor Scott. Pushed off his box one. There he is again. I think that's Rush Limbaugh. Which news and DHS is all involved in it. This is an important article if you want to keep the internet free. People can't believe this can happen. You didn't believe you get socialist health care either. You didn't believe you'd see all these things happen, did you? By the way, Gaddafi's still fighting on. NATO continued resistance in Libya is surprising. I thought they said the government was taken over a month ago. Their assigned demands power to kill abusive websites. Folks, this is the internet kill switch. Rolling out in plain view. We can't even give this stuff hardcore enough headlines. Reality is so much worse than I can even tell you. But as I was saying, uh, tonight, oh, 7 o'clock... Band 6. That's like right on the end of the band there. God, religious garbage.
Is that all they put on these uh, shortwave and AM anymore? It's just religious garbage. This is this is the beginning. This is also what was on the end of band six. To the National Catholic Register today, go to EWTN.com and click on the link for the register. Or call 800 421 3230 That's EWTN.com. Then click on the link for the register. Or call 800 -421 I want to know what this is. An oil spill from a stricken container ship off New Zealand is growing as the weather deteriorates, sending clumps of thick fuel oil onto nearby beaches. Christopher Wells reports. The nearly 50,000 ton Liberian flagged MV Reina has been stranded on a reef about 12 nautical miles off Taranga on the east coast of New Zealand's North Island since running aground on Now, Wednesday world news. This is stuff that should be on the radio. Several hundred tons. I like that stuff. I like that stuff a lot. The informational. Okay, band eight. Not much of anything on eight. What about nine? Not much of anything on nine either. So there are a few bands that are crowded around here. This is the first shortwave radio I've ever owned, actually, so that's the reason I just pretty much DX through all the stations there. But yeah, this is this little uh, one dollar shortwave radio that's probably it's cheap China stuff, but it has a really sensitive tuner. It has very clear sound and it has very good sound on AM and shortwave as far as the uh, highs go. So. I'm happy with it. Shortwave radio seems like uh, it seems like they put a lot of junk on there, but some of the stuff on there is actually really good. So I'll have fun with that. Maybe I'll get a bigger, more, more uh, substantial unit than this thing someday. But still, I guess it's a good way to venture into uh, shortwave and AM a lot more, since I can actually get AM on this radio. Anyhow, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video, and have a good one, everybody. Ciao.